Hey all, welcome. I am Willie Wits, and on this channel, we explore motherhood, Jamaican lifestyle, and everything fun and such. So, if you would like to see more videos like that, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and join our family. So today, I'm going to be going through everything that I bring on the road with me. What is in my diaper bag? I try to keep it very simple. All the things that we need, as you know, right now, we're not really going on the road a lot um, because of the whole Corona, the COVID situation. But if you have to go on the road, what are you going to bring? So I'm just gonna go right through and let you know. So right here, this is a diaper bag that I have. Um, it is, uh, what's the name of the brand again? It is Hap Tim. Um, got it on Amazon. Um, but there are so many different diaper bags. You can choose whichever one you want. I really like it because it has so many different compartments as well as it is a backpack type of um, diaper bag. And I thought that was good because Daddy is very um, active and he plays a very active role in baby's life. So I wanted to make sure that it was neutral enough for both of us to carry. I really enjoy these soft carrots at back. This also has a little zip here as well. So again, it is so loaded with compartments and I really love that about it. It has these things on the side as well and so on and so forth. So let's get into what's in the bag. So in my diaper bag, I always have receivers. I always bring our swatter blankets. I always have about three of these because of course you always need to change the baby. Sometimes it might get a little bit chilly. So you always have some receiving blankets, okay? I also pack my bag the way how I'm going to use it. So whatever I know I'm going to use a lot, I put on the top. And what I'm not going to use a lot, I put at the bottom in the order that I know I'm going to use it, right? So we have little, so we have the little bandana baby here. Um, really, really nice. They came in a whole pack of about six or so. I got about a few packs of them. However, I don't really like the fact that they don't have the backing at the hair. It's cute, yes, but I mean, yeah. However, this one now, it has the stuff at the back here, like a little piece, a little plastic. So whenever it gets wet, still have um, protection right there. Of course, we're going to have burp cloths. You know, I always talk about burp cloths can bring like two or so in your diaper bag and then of course we have change of clothes I have like three onesies so this is like one here and then one of them or so these two I have like two normal ones and then I have another long sleeve one just in case it ever gets like a little bit chilly and you know they're going to need that so I have like a one long sleeve one and of course we have pants hat and a pair of socks so i keep it simple very very simple right just in case so that's there so we have baby wipes in our bag um if i don't use this and i have the other one i'll put it in a little portable baby wipes holder i can put a picture of it there as well but this is what i usually use this is the seventh generation brand it's very good eco-friendly and then we have a whole lot of diapers because you know how it goes when you're on the road baby do that himself you gotta change so we have that this is some generation this is pampers there's another little zipper right so in this is a zipper there is also a changing pad this actually came with the bag i'm not sure if every single diaper bag has a changing pad in there but this one came in there it's very small can wrap up and put in there safely if you don't have a changing pad in there you can always get one and add it to your diaper bag all right so here now we have some toys because you know you don't know how long you're going to be on the road so you want to have some toys to kind of distract them sometimes i have a little book uh that as well these are soothers pacifiers this is the Philips one and this is a Nook. Yeah, this is a Nook brand. They're really nice. I don't want to touch them. They're sterilized. I don't know, probably I can. There. Hopefully. You see that? So we have nursery jelly, purely nursery jelly. This is like for to protect the baby's bum bum. 
um, you can use butt paste uh, which like density you know anything like that or you can use powder I tend to carry this on the road really I tend to carry this on the road um, because it's less mess so yeah I rather this bottles for formula and you guys know I talk about this already formula dispenser I actually did a video showing you how you can use it to make formula really quickly as you can see I've used two already because we've been on the road all day um, and we have like two usually have like a bottle for water and a bottle for formula and an extra bottle for formula in case we're on the road longer than we expected so we actually have this little scoop in the bag um this is a hack by the way richie came up with it because sometimes he does not eat off like all of the formula and sometimes he requires a little bit more but remember in the in the formula dispenser we put exactly how much he needs so like for now he's at seven ounces so each one of these makes seven ounces so if he needs eight we can just use it with a scoop and take out like an extra one if it is that we think that he would want some more um and not like a whole thing so we don't waste the entire you know what i mean anyway but this scoop is a hack right um i also have this little fruit um juicer thing in case he's eating fruit we usually put it in there he, he sucks on it this is just a little a little gadget that helps uh, you know with eating it doesn't take up a lot of space so we just bring it on the road anyways because we really like to give him fruits and that's good for him um i also have this bag i think it's called a wet bag if that if i recall properly what i want to say online but you can use a plastic bag it's just for like dirty clothes so it it keeps the wet and messy clothes like not on the dry stuff so it's really good so you can get that um what else i'm not seeing anything else in here that other things that i have in here is a few nursing <laughs> nursing pads because you know how it goes on the road i'm not breastfeeding right now but it's been in there so yeah and we have water of course to make formula on the side here we have hand sanitizer of course whether it was covid or not you need to keep yourself clean you're handling a baby but you know the situation right now and this is a um thermos with some hot water so we can always make and prepare warm milk for him to um get in the front of the bag in this little spot here i don't really have anything in there oh yeah we have um insect repellents because yeah my sister always have it my sister always have me and we're in the country a lot so we always want to put you know spray it in your hand and rub it on him um some setamol just in case you never know a pen a syringe uh just any little thing you can put in here so to be honest like it's just an extra so yeah that's basically everything that is in my diaper bag as i said i try to keep it very simple um to the point whatever he needs nothing over the top sometimes we'll walk with the portable warmer um we actually have it today portable warmer in case you know the we run out of warm water and you know you can just plug it in anywhere and warm up whatever you need um but other than that uh i think that's it we don't really bring anything extra um is there anything else that we should put in the bag that's not there right now no that's basically it it has pockets for chargers all that so if i don't want to bring my regular purse or handbag there is space to put my purse with my money and my card or whatever drop it in the bag and we're good to go and that's it um so yeah thank you all for watching to the end i hope this helps you in packing your own dev bag keeping it as minimal and simple as possible straight to the point and not packing up yourself all the time um you can check out my other videos about hospital bag what you need in a hospital bag what you use um what i use on a daily basis normal um what you use on a daily basis newborn essentials what i actually use we have other videos on pregnancy tips just a barrage there's a whole playlist of motherhood 
um, videos that you can check out and you can also check out our other fun videos like our family vlogs and all of that stuff love you all thank you for watching if you love this video give it a thumbs up and sir <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm not laughing with you. Right. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment and tell me what you care in your diaper bag. What else you think I should have in there that I probably don't have. And yeah, love you and goodbye.